if you ask any man in this world who is it that wakes up who is it that dreams and who is it that sleeps he will answer it is i that wake up it is i that dream it is i that sleep if you ask him what is this i this body is thy he will tell you that it is the body that sleeps when the brain is tired or exhausted it is the body that sleeps when the brain is disturbed it is the body that dreams and when the brain is refreshed it is the body that wakes up after sound sleep a psychologist who has made a special study of the mind will say that the mind which has its seat in the brain is the i he says that the mind is inseparable from the brain and it perishes along with the physical body the metaphysicians and the spiritualists hold that the mind continues to exist somewhere after the death of the body according to the psychologists metaphysicians and spiritualists it is the mind that wakes up dreams and sleeps and this mind is the i a theologist says that there is a soul which is quite independent of the body and the mind and it is this soul that wakes up dreams and sleeps and the soul is the i the soul enters another body in accordance with the law of karma a vedantian says that neither this body nor the mind nor the soul is the i there is one pure consciousness or atman in all beings which is infinite eternal all pervading self existent self luminous and self contained which is partless timeless spaceless birthless and deathless this is the real i this i never wakes dreams or sleeps it is always the seer or the silent witness sakshi of the three states of waking dreaming and sleeping it is the turiya or the fourth state it is the state that transcends the three states it is the false or relative i called ahankara or ego or that jiva that wakes up dreams and sleeps the worker the dreamer and the sleeper are all changing personalities and on real the real self the real i never wakes up dreams and sleeps from the point of view of the absolute truth or parmartha satta no one wakes up dreams and sleeps